Hello friends. Today we are going to learn how to combine two different ratios into one. We'll do it using n rule method that is very simple to understand. Now what is n rule in ratio and proportion? Let's understand this. Let's assume that there are two different ratios. First one is a is to b the terms of which are 2 is to 3 and the second ratio is b is to c the terms of which are 4 is to 5 and now we are required to join the link and to find the combined ratio a is to b is to c will be what now let's see how to combine the ratios into one now I am going to write down the given ratios again but in somewhat different manner here I write down the first ratio that is a is to b given as 2 is to 3 and the second ratio that is b is to c given as 4 is to 5 here you can see that while writing the ratios down we have placed the antecedent of the second ratio that is b under the consequent of the first ratio that is again given as b here so before applying the rule make sure that the common term is in alignment now let's multiply the antecedent of the first ratio by the antecedent of the second ratio next we multiply the consequent of the first ratio by the antecedent of the second ratio like this finally we need to multiply the consequent of the first ratio by the consequent of the second ratio like this and the final ratio we get here is 2 into 4 8 3 into 4 12 then 3 into 5 15 you need to make sure here that the final ratio must be in simplest form so wasn't it simple I hope you have understood the rule well now let me give you another example for your practice in a question first ratio is given as a is to b the terms of which are 6 is to 5 the second ratio is given as b is to c the terms of which are 3 is to 4 now I'll ask you what will be the combined ratio and you need to find the answer in less than 10 seconds and your time starts now and time is up I hope you got the right answer I'll now solve it for you and I ask you to check whether you got it right or not so what we'll do here we'll multiply the antecedent of the first ratio by the antecedent of the second ratio next we'll multiply the consequent of the first ratio by the antecedent of the second ratio and finally we will multiply the consequent of the first ratio by the consequent of the second ratio and we'll get the combined ratio a is to b is to c as 6 into 3 18 then 5 into 3 15 and then 5 into 4 20 wasn't it simple so friends I hope the methods we used here 
are going to enhance your knowledge and skills a great deal. And to learn more such tricks and time saving methods, I'd like you to visit our website that is www.smartkida.com that is a leading educational website for young exam aspirants like you. And we are also pleased to inform you that smartkida.com is going to be relaunched in the month of March 2015 with some really smart features. So keep visiting us and to keep yourself updated, kindly go to our Facebook fan page that is www.facebook.com slash smartkida and like us there. So keep learning and be intelligent. Thank you.